In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with arc length of circles. In example A, it says find the length of arc PQ. So we're trying to figure out the length of this arc. Leave your answers in terms of pi. So what we know is that the central angle is 60 degrees and our radius is nine units. So to find the arc length, what you wanna do is first find the circumference and then multiply by the fraction of the circle that the arc is. So in general, the formula is 2 pi r for circumference times theta over 360, where theta is the angle that you're given, the central angle, and theta over 360 tells you the fraction of the circle that the arc you're looking for is. So in this example, we have our radius is 9, and we know theta is 60. So the arc length will be 2 pi times 9 times 60 over 360. So let's reduce this a little bit. We have arc length is 18 pi times 1 sixth. So what I did here was take 60 over 360 and reduce it to 1 sixth. I also multiplied 2 times 9 to get 18. Now, 18 pi times 1 sixth is like 18 pi divided by 6, so you get 3 pi. And it does say leave your answers in terms of pi. So it's really 3 pi units would be the arc length. Example B. The arc length of arc AB equals 6 pi and is 1 fourth of the circumference. Find the radius of the circle. All right, so let's try to draw a picture here. We have an arc AB, which it says is one fourth of the circle. So I'm gonna draw in approximately one fourth of the circle and call this AB. And we know that this length is six pi. So what that means is if six pi is a quarter of the circumference, the full circumference must be six pi times four or 24 pi. So if the circumference is 24 pi, I can use that to figure out the radius. Remember that one of the formulas for circumference is 2 pi r. So if I know that the circumference is 24 pi, I can just do 24 pi equals 2 pi r and solve this for r. First, I can divide out both sides by pi in order to just get 24 equals 2r, which means that the radius r equals 12. And in this problem, we aren't given any units, so we can just say 12 units. All right, and let's look at example c last. Find the measure of the central angle or arc pq. So what we're trying to figure out is this angle right here, which I'll call theta. It has given us the arc length of 15 pi and also the radius. So what we should do first is figure out what the full circumference of the whole circle would be in order to figure out what fraction of the full circumference is 15 pi because that will help us to find the angle. So the full circumference is 2 pi times the radius. So that would be 2 pi times 18 or 36 pi. So the full circumference is 36 pi, and our arc length of PQ is only 15 pi. So the fraction of the circle that we're working with is 15 pi out of 36 pi. So this fraction reduces to 5 twelfths. So that means PQ is 5 twelfths of the whole circle. So theta must be 5 twelfths of the full circle of 360 degrees. So the last step would be take 5 twelfths and multiply by 360 degrees in order to figure out how many degrees theta is. 5 twelfths times 360 is 150 degrees, which means that theta must equal 150 degrees. 